couple, man. I feel so bad for them, man. I I saw some more of the video of the interview with, with the pivot. And man, this is a dynamite guy, man. This dude is a good guy, man. If you get a chance, we're gonna watch it tomorrow. But if you get a chance before tomorrow, man, I suggest you you watch that video. It's on the Pivot Podcast on um YouTube. That guy, that, that guy is a dynamite guy, man. He's a dynamite, man. That that guy, man, Simone Biles is married to, man. He could he could date my daughter, man. I, that guy could that guy could date my daughter. If he came to if my daughter brought him home, I would be very, very happy. That's a dynamite guy, man. Them people representing their relationship is foul, man. When I say foul, the people that they, they foul, my nigga. They foul, you heard me? We talking about foul, man. Them people are foul, man. Online dissing these people, man. This dude, this dude, this is a good young man, man. This is a, this is this is a dynamite young man, man. I was very impressed with him, man. When it pissed me off, man. And you know, I'm not even no manosphere type guy, man. But that shit pissed me off, man. Seeing the rest of that interview, man. Seeing how they was talking about cuz man and he ain't nothing like the way they're talking about him the way they're talking about him he ain't nothing like that you heard me that nigga got down on one knee and proposed to that girl that nigga got down on that negro got down on one knee and proposed to that girl he says, appreciate my dog, Don Julio, for helping me set everything up. She really had no clue what was coming. At Zoe Frost, you went crazy on this one, bro. Really made the night special. Look at her face, man. Look at her face, man. And the brother got money, man. He, he in the NFL. He a starter in the NFL. He got money. Everybody trying to talk about he ain't this and he ain't that. This brother's a starter in the NFL. He got money. He caked up. He caked up. Look at that look, man. Look at that, man. Sisters are evil. If you, uh, That's true. Shout out to um, whoever just said that. If you watch, if you watch their videos, the way they're analyzing it, they're so jealous of her, man. They're so jealous of her. Yeah, I think that I think all because it's it's like a script. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It feels like a script. It feels like they're all programmed. <laughs> It feels like they all like have, have 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 been injected with some kind of um shit, and they all gotta re and they like they're like drones. It's like they're they're possessed. There it is. That's the word. It feels like sisters are possessed. This is a dynamite young man, man. You know me, man. I don't just throw that around loosely, man. Pause. This is a dynamite young man, man. He's a Dynamite young man, man. A phenomenal young man. This is a phenomenal young man. Okay. Um man, yeah, man. This shit pissed me off, man. The way they talking about this young man, man. This is a this is a this is a fine young man. He's a he's a he's a he's a he's a dynamite young man, man. Look at that rock, man. He's a dynamite young man. This is this this guy's a dynamite kid, man. And I call him a kid because I'm 45 and he's probably like 25. But 
or 20, 26 or some shit like that. I don't know. But he, he kid to me, man. If I seen him, I could smell Similac on his breath, man. But yeah, man, he... This shit pissed me off, man. This shit pissed me off the way they dogging this brother out, man. That shit piss you off, dog. They literally acting like this nigga didn't marry her, man. He married her, man. He proposed, had the wedding, all the shit, man. These broads are jealous, man. They're jealous, man. Yeah, and he ain't doing a fake cry face. It's literally tears streaming down his face. He's not doing the fake shit where they do, where they just do like this and shit. You know when they? He not doing a fake cry face. He literally emotional about this shit. But when you when you watch the rest of the interview, you like, oh okay, that was just a clip. That was taken out of context, man. Which I still didn't see nothing wrong. They, man, she like him. She loved that nigga dirty draw. If that nigga took a shit and didn't wipe his ass and then went and played ball all day and then came back and worked out and then took them draws off, she would fucking love them draws. She loved that nigga dirty draws, man. And he loved her, he loved her dirty draws too. He is, I, I, this is according to Statistica. So Statistica is saying 3.3 years. So he has a, a busted knee. He's a secondary to the backup. I don't know what's gonna happen. This, this, this doesn't sound good. But it says here, during his six-year NFL career, which means he's probably yeah, in age now at this point, the former undrafted free agent earned $375,000 in his solitary season with the Arizona Cardinals, $1.8 million in Houston, and $1 million with the Green Bay Packers. Owens entered the That's a lot of fucking money, man. That's a lot of fucking money. There ain't nothing to shake the stick at, man. The NFL as an undrafted free agent following a fruitful collegiate career with Missouri Western State University. Oh, so that's why his ex-girlfriend was in Missouri. Oh, interesting. I'm going to show you her picture in a moment. Okay, it says, however, the laurels weren't enough to get him drafted in 2017. Owens got undrafted, wait, Owens going undrafted serves as a reminder of how competitive the NFL is and how some of the best players in lesser known collegiate conferences go undrafted with some never carving out a niche on the gridiron. Well, you know what? Oh, he it says here that Owens earned second team all Mid-American Collegiate Athletics Association honors and was named MWSU Male Student Athlete of the Year in his final year of college, but he still couldn't get drafted. Wow, this is sad. Well, listen, he's a millionaire. He doesn't have as much money as she does. I'm, I heard that she has seven million, or is it 16? Let me see. See the time. I'm like, wow, I, I did this on the field. Like, I don't get it. But, you know, being undrafted, you know, that route's going to be a little harder for you. Just they like, don't have anything invested in me like that money wise, you know. So, man, it was it was tough. Like, I, I struggled with trying to figure out who I was um, because when people ask me, like, you know, I'm, let's say I'm walking around my apartment building. So, oh, what do you do? Like, what do I say? You know, and I. Right now, I nothing. Yeah. And yeah. that was that I, I struggled with that just because I've always been football player or I was in, you know, college. I was one of the better guys on my team. So you just, you used to getting that notoriety and you just have that um, identity. And like I was cut for three and a half weeks. And um, man, it was tough. I would go days where I, I just would go to the field, man, and just sit there. And like, I couldn't find any motivation to get up and work out because I'm, I'm by myself. 
I'm in Arizona. My, my family's all in St. Louis, so I'm, you know. Wait, he was cut after three weeks. They saw something. That don't sound right. He was cut after three weeks. So the $1.8 million that he got, wait, maybe that was a different team. Oh, hold on. I, right I, now, or nothing. Yeah, and yeah. that was that. I, I struggle with that just because I've always been a football player, or I was in you know college. I was one of the better guys on my team, so you just you used to getting that notoriety, and you just have that um, identity. And like I was cut for three and a half weeks, and um, man, it was tough. I would go days where I, I just would go to the field, man, and just sit there, and like I couldn't find any. Mo so he was cut for three and a half weeks. Okay. Motivation to get up and work out because I'm, I'm by myself. I'm in Arizona. My, my family's all in St. Louis, so I'm, you know, I'm there by myself with my dog, and it was hot. So I'm just like, I had no, I felt, in my mind, I felt like I had no support. But I did. I just didn't want to tell my mom. Like, my mom had no clue I was going through what I was going through. Um, because I just, you know, as football players, we have to, I try to keep that, you know, everything's all right, I'm fine, like, I'm, the car gonna come, you know. But secretly, like, man, I was freaking out. Like, I'm like, man, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't, I'm not gonna say I didn't have a plan B, but this is, I just felt like this is what I was supposed to do, man. Nah, you just know if plan A works you know, out, it's a lot better than plan B. You know, you know. Yeah, I've been um, there. I remember, man, I had, I called one of my best friends, man. He he went to college with me. He uh, played in the NFL for a few years, and I'm just talking to him, like, bro, like, I'm, I'm struggling right now, man. Like, phone not ringing, you know. I had a tryout at the time, and I went. Uh, my trial was with the coach, man. I'll never forget. I go through, I think I killed a workout. And um, it's no it's no coaches out there, just scouts. So I'm like, man, this is kind of weird, but whatever. I'm talking to one of the scouts. They're like, we just didn't see that explosion that we seen on film. And I'm, and my, you know, I'm like, explode. That that's all I know. Like I'm, I had the highest vertical in the whole draft class. You know, like I couldn't believe it. But I'm like, it's on film. Like if you wanted to know how fast I was, you should just have me run a 40. Like I'm doing DB drills. So I'm thinking, right. slow, smooth, smooth yep. is fast. They like do. I want to keep feet time on the turf in, yeah. in Indy and. You know, they just, man, they sent me home. They sent me on a, they sent me to the airport at like 12. My flight wasn't till seven. Dang. And that was the moment. Oh, wait. Wait. You see, yo, Simone, pay attention. When he was cut from the team, he didn't see a reason to work out. He didn't have the internal drive on his own. When he went and he was in front of the drafting people, whatever he called them, scouts, yeah, scouts. When he was in front of them, he wasn't giving them the explosions and the and all of that stuff. They said he has a 48-inch vertical, so that's not an arm wingspan. That must be the height of his jump. So he can jump 48 inches into the air. So he could jump over Simone. <laughs> Nonetheless, yo, they sent him back to the damn airport like he was trash. They like, we didn't see the explosion. And then they sent him to the airport in the morning. Hold on, let me see what time he went, got sent to the airport when his flight wasn't until 7. That we seen on film. And I'm, and my, you know, I'm like, explode. That, that's all I know. Like, I'm, I had the highest vertical in the whole job class, you know, like. I couldn't believe it, but I'm like, it's on film. Like, if you wanted to know how fast I was, you should just have me run a 40. Like, I'm doing DB drills. So I'm thinking right. slow, smooth, smooth yep. as fast. They like, do. I want to keep feet time on the turf in, in Indy. And, you know, they just, man, they sent me home. They sent me on a, they sent me to the airport at like 12. My flight wasn't until 7. Dang. Mm. And that was the moment. Like, I called my agent right after that. And we, I'm sitting in the airport still, like six hours. I'm like, man, my next tryout, like, I'm, it's over. Like, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going back to this lot. Like I just, it just made you feel like here, you know? Right. Man, they just threw me to, they dropped me off at the airport, 12 o'clock. And then I, a couple of weeks later, man, had a trial in Houston, man, I packed everything. Like I wasn't coming back home. I, I went, took my dog to the Pest Mart, um, like pet hotel. And I'm looked at him like, I'm gonna be back, bro. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna be back, but I'm gonna be back to get you. Man, I went to that trial in Houston. Like, I packed my game system, every, like I knew I, in my mind, when I went there, I'm talking, I'm, man, I'm dead tired. They had me on a 40, did a broad jump, pro agility. And I hadn't ran a 40 since this been a couple years, you know, mm -hmm. combine training. Um, man. I so hold on. If I'm getting this straight, if I'm, listen, I'm, first of all, I know he ain't leave his mother effing dog. 
He said he took it to the pet sitter, and but he took his game system. I know that's not what I heard. Please tell me you heard something different. Because he was like, I didn't know when I was going to come back. But I know you ain't leave your dog, bruh. But this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that he went to a damn tryout. And that the people said, we didn't see the explosions that we saw on film. Go back to, go back to one, your Kim. Go back. 12 p.m. for a 7 p.m. flight, sitting there at the airport. And he's like, well, if they wanted to see me run the 40, I could have did this. Blah. Then he's talking to his agent. He goes for another tryout and says that he hadn't run the 40 for years. Sir, is you serious? Why wasn't you running the damn 40? I don't know what the 40 is. Is that a 40-yard sprint? Why weren't you running those to prepare? You are not on Simone Biles' level. You are not. Because I'm sure she practices daily. Why wasn't he working on his explosion? Jumping over cars and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. But whatever. Whatever. This is sad. This is real sad. Is anybody else hearing the red flags in his lack of drive? He doesn't have the internal driving force to be a true, true top of his game athlete. He doesn't. He does not. I'm now I'm dead tired. They had me on a 40, did a broad jump, pro agility, and I hadn't ran a 40 since this been a couple years, you know, mm -hmm. combine training. Um, man, I, I'm talking about I'm dead exhausted. I'm I'm catching deep balls. I'm sprinting all the way back to the guy letting them know, like, man, I, I I'm not going back home. Like I started to do medical and I'm like, I'm getting an idea, like, okay, they probably right. man, the guy came in and told him they was gonna sign me to P Squad, and that was man, like I cried, like, you know, just Practice wait, squad. what's the P Squad? The football moms. People who know these terminologies, what is the peace squad? Because that don't sound good. That sound like people who twirl the flag on the field. That's what that sound like. Peace squad, they holding up the flag, twirling it. That's what that sound like to me. To me. <laughs> Just because, man, I have been, I've been there. Man, you know, like I have been on that field. Literally, the Cardinals training facility was right across the street. So, I would have to go at the later part of the day when it wouldn't be as hot outside. So I would see like my good friends leaving in their cars, driving home, and I'm out here like I got kicked off the field by an amateur soccer team. They're like, ah, we need this field because it was better grass. So they sent me, I had to go find another field that was choppy, wasn't cut up. And man, I'm out there with my little plastic water bottle and my speaker, you know? <laughs> and then like I said, man, I got I got signed to Houston September 29th, you know, yeah, 2019. And it was like no. That's Seven. a testimony, though, man. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, like your story is when you're going through it, you feel like you're the only person that's ever been through right. it. And you're the only person going through it at that time. The time when in 2019 in Houston, we had one of the better offenses. So, you know, that was the year we lost to the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm in no practice more. going against these guys. No more. I can't. Yo, no, Simone, what power to you, girl? What power to you, girl? Oh, okay. I guess it's just having like strong people you know around you, man, to help. Like my mom, like man, my wife, Green Bay. <laughs> yeah, what streets you gonna hit, huh? Man, I, Green I, hit Bay the, I hit the streets with my lady, man. <laughs> How do you feel to win the the celebrity couple game? Oh my god! <laughs> they they had the they had the wives and girlfriends on TVs. They did more than the, the players. They did. Like they had Simone and uh, Taylor on TV way more than Jonathan and Travis. Yeah, it was. I was just glad that I won my matchup. Like, <laughs> we won the game. That's all I worry about, man. Interviewers asking me like, do you know? Do you care about you know them coming to the game? Like it doesn't. You know, I just mess with them. It, now I don't make no difference to me. I just look at them. Yeah. Well, one, that's your that's your wife. Like, yeah. That's that. That's what it's gonna be to you. That's mm -hmm. where it starts. Do you feel like? That so he be talking shit in the public. They like, do you care if your wife comes in? He like, nah, it don't make no difference to me. Oh, really, son? Oh my gosh. See how they misrepresent what he says. You see how they hear what they want to hear. They hear what they want to hear, and I'm telling you, this brother. Let me get him on the screen. Yo, Simone, get yourself a step ladder, stand on that, and bust him two slaps in his. You know what? Let me be quiet. And that is embraced because even in saying initially, like you didn't know 
mm-hmm. who she was. You know now. Yeah. And so does everybody else in the world. And it's like, you know, there is going to be a sort of fanfare and attention right. that goes on with that, even in the the privacy of your relationship and what your couple is. But as you play football as well, yeah. if she comes to the game, she still is Simone Biles as a singular right. human and celebrity. Do you feel that's been embraced in Green Bay and it being such a small town? Oh man, they they honestly it's it's so crazy. The fans, they just they awesome. You know, they love having us there and People tell you all the time, you know, it's so happy to have you here. It's just the type of people they are there, man. Like I, it's we don't we don't mind that it's a small market. Honestly, um, in my opinion, like this is the most like locked in and the best football I've played. Just being here and it just make you lock in, man. Like it's, you don't have as you know all those distractions and you know, I, like I said, I go home and I'm like I'm watching the iPad, like I'm 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 looking at things. You know, I'm trying to get tips on the offense and see what I can do. You know what I mean? Just to make my game better or make me play this much faster. So, man, I, like I said, man, it's a blessing in disguise, man. Being young and being married is is difficult in itself because you're co- you're continuing to grow mm-hmm. individually. I need to move, y'all. Get up out of your damn seat. I'm tired. I want to. I want to show his ex girlfriend. I want to do so. This is. Some people are saying that this is his true type. This is him. He looks so cute, young, and look at his hair. He looks so cute with a little short haircut. This is her. They had a very public relationship, right? They were together claiming each other online, right? I think she's white because her brother is white, white. But it's funny that you mentioned that. Because this right here is her ex before him. So you see she has a type. So when you look at him, you can see that him and the guy that she had before him look very similar because people have a type that they like. And so him, I was like, is this, I didn't know if that was her man or whatnot, but seeing them laying up in the bed, but him, this is who he grew up to be. And he grew up to be with a woman who kind of looked like her. So he has a type too. So everybody has a type, right? (laughs) Except Jonathan, right? So Jonathan, this is what, when he had his choice, this is what he chose, right? But he married Simone Biles. <laughs> Actually, when he had his choice, he married Simone Biles. Did he marry this girl? Did he marry this white girl? No. They misrepresent everything this brother said, man. They rip- misrepresent everything he does. And I'm telling you, man, women are going to start going at him trying to throw the ass at him press one every woman in the world is going to now try to throw the ass at him he gonna have so much pussy coming his way that it's going to be very hard for him to to, um stay faithful because they're going to try to destroy his relationship women are going to actively try to destroy his relationship simone this is who he chose this is who he wanted to be with She was a young girl at this time. I believe that they were, this was in. He was with a white girl. Yeah, he wanted to be happy. 2016. So Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. They're going back into this 2016 on this guy when he was a fucking kid. Nine years or seven years ago. Everybody hit the like button. I'm trying to get 300 likes tonight, man. We didn't quite get it last night, but let's get it tonight, man. Salute to Adolf Diversity, man. Hell, Adolf, man. Hell, Diversity. That is, what, eight years ago? (laughs) And he's, so what was he, like, 18? This was the beginning of college then? I don't know. I think he's 26 now. So, yeah, listen, this is so, people are positing all different types of things. I'm just showing you who it is and what it is that he gravitated towards. And remember, he does not come from a wealthy family, so it's not like they were living in the burbs and all that other stuff where he just grew up around these girls. And 
No, this was when he went off to school. This is who he wanted to be with. He chose her, and that so that's who he. Why are you all saying she? Was... And why, why are they acting like? Why are they acting like this girl? You this white girls in college they throw themselves at athletes. You talking about Simone Biles was chasing him? Them white girls in, in these colleges, man, they chase them black athletes, man. They hunt them black athletes down, man. Way worse than Simone Biles. Simone Biles ain't got nothing on a white girl in college chasing down a black athlete. So that's probably why he think he the prize, because he went. He was an athlete in college, and when you're a college athlete as a brother, they throwing it at you. So that's why he think he the prize. He looks oh gosh, and that was the man she was with before him. So that's what that's what he like. That's his ex. That's his ex. All right, so let us also thinking about your career as well at first it was difficult to just understand how much in the public eye you are like literally everything you do like we'll take a picture in front of a restaurant and you know next thing you know it's on yahoo or someone's you know snap screenshot and sending it to me you know um so it was it, was, it took it took a minute to get used to it but at the same time you just have to let people know that, like you're human too you know if we're out and you know we want to have a good time and relax and like I said, man, like we take one picture, you know, people just gonna swarm you. And now we're trying to walk around the mall and it's a hundred people following us. That was really like the thing where we go out and it'll be like, we kind of look at each other like, you know, you know sometimes, you know, as kids, you know, that's yeah. a moment where you just, you you go with it and, you know, you gotta, you know, kids might not know when they'll see you. So, you know, yeah. you understand that, you know, right. you know, we had a restaurant and we're out eating and, you know, someone comes up and, um, that's the one time where I had to get used to it. She was a lot nicer than me. Me, I would just get annoyed, like, bro, we sitting here eating, like, you really, and then they're going to put the phone, you know, they steady, like, hey, you can you take the picture for us? And I'm like, man, I'm not trying to take this picture. He's a photographer. I got food in my mouth, man. <laughs> they trying to have me, you know, so, but it's just something, it, it's what comes with it, you know? Yeah. Um, and that was one thing, like, the way that she handles it is, I just watch her, you know? That's because just, she's a lifetime she has a time celebrity. She's like, you know, she'll take every picture, but then, you know, if we're doing stuff and she doesn't want to cause a scene, like, especially sometimes at the game, she'll, you know, know, right. like, you know, I'm here she, for him. She does support you, bro. You know, I'm here for him. Like, I don't want to, you know, so, um, and I appreciate her for that a lot. Like, she's helped me transition into the spotlight because before I met her, like, I'm not, I was just a regular NFL player, so the, I can walk around the mall, people would, you know, and that was, all I knew at the time, you know, but then when I got with her and I did see how much in the public I see is how many people recognize her. I mean, we're out the country and, you know, we're still looking over our shoulder, you know. Right. So people all over the world, but you here in America never knew who she was. You, an avid gymnastics watcher. Oh, the cap is too much. So he's the prize, right? He didn't know who she was, right? She's lucky. She bagged him. But he was just a regular old NFL P squad, <laughs> P squad player, and then he really knew what fame was when he got with her. Mm. I just man, she's kind of taught me how to deal with that though. Even with that, she's a big advocate in the mental health space. Mm -hmm. How does she help you with those challenges of being a pro, a NFL player? A lot of ups and downs, man. Maybe not having the confidence that man. you know you talked about. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought that up, man. Me. Me and her, man, we had a conversation before the first game, like maybe because, uh, you know, we get that break before right out of the camp, you get that weekend. And um, I'm watching film and she, I said, hey, look at this. Like, I thought I did. She's like, man, you look a little slow right there. And I'm like, girl, what you talking about? He's like, man, you just look like you think it too much. Mm -hmm. And like, because I know who's like anybody else, other any other one other than her, I'd have been like, man, what are you talking about? You know, but she said that she's like, I just been noticing it, you know. I noticed it for a while. I just didn't say anything to you, just. But she did, and when I thought about it, like other, like my coaches have told me that because I'm very like, I've always been like a nerd in school, you know, very analytical thinker, you know. And she told me that, and it brought it to my attention, and it was. He was. He's always been a nerd. He was in his conference. He was the student athlete of the year in college. He was student athlete of the year in his conference in college was slowing me down just because 
I went to the sport site guy with the Packers and he told me it was called paralysis by analysis. So you, you trying to be so aware of everything that's going on that you freeze yourself and he, you know what I mean? And, um, that would happen to me, and it would be times where she'd lead a game and be like, "Ah, oh, babe, you just look a little slow today." I'm like, "Girl, be quiet!" Like, what? Are, you know, like. But um, when she did that, ouch! So she be she leave the game and tell him how slow he looked. Move your ass, son. Move. You better start running that forty. Oh, however it is that you say it. You better get start running your 40s, man. Do your thing. Your wife is calling you slow, son. How are you going to become the best in the world if you're not hitting them marks? Come on. I went to the sports side guy with the Packers, and he told me it was sports called paralysis by, by analysis. So paralysis by analysis. You're trying to be so aware of everything that's going on that you freeze yourself, and he, you know what I mean? And um, that would happen to me, and it would be times where she would lead a game and be like, ah, oh, babe, you just look a little slow today. I'm like, girl, be quiet. Like, what? Are, you know, like, but um, when she did that, it made me. They're not taking it literally. They're, they're, they're seeing the worst in everything he says. I've watched probably a dozen videos on this today, man, from women. And they all are seeing the worst. Everything he says, they're seeing it in the worst light. They're looking for, they're nitpicking him. They're looking for anything to, 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 to ding him on. And they're all doing it. It's like a script. You know, I had to work on myself, you know, um, because I did realize, like, I was confident, but it was almost like pretend confidence just because I know I'm supposed to be confident because I'm in NFL, you know. In my mind, I still hadn't proved myself enough. And man, we had that conversation and I went, you know, to the sports psych guy, just talked to him about it. Um, and he's just kind of telling me everything that was going on. And he told me about like imposter syndrome and mm -hmm. just thinking that you are, you know, everyone else thinks that you're something else, you know, and um, but in your mind you still don't feel like you deserve it, you know. That was really something that I was dealing with. Sports psych guy. This guy still has low self esteem. Yo, this is dangerous for Simone. For real. So he's in the NFL. This is not going to be made better by being with this super mega star because there's not enough that she can give him to make him believe in himself. That there's just not enough. He has to believe in himself for himself. This like this is sad right here. This is sad. So he has imposter syndrome. He has self-esteem and self-worth issues. Man, a few times a week, man, talking with him, and um, she she told me though, she's like, like that's what I like right there, you know, and just seeing how fast and just quick and just making fast full speed decisions. Um, it was a game we had against the Rams. I'm in cover three in curl flat. Quarterback dropped the snap. It's a rainy game. He dropped the snap, and I shoot the B gap, like, you know what I mean? I, like I said, I'm in coverage. I shoot the B gap, and I go get a strip sack, and it's like critical part in the game, and it was just. It wasn't even, yeah, you know, and she, she's like, I was surprised you went that fast. Like, I didn't think you were going, you know what I mean? And so that was Damn, the moment Simone. I told her, I was like. Damn. Damn, Simone. First of all, I don't know what he's talking about. He cracked the snap and he got the B gap. And this is why when the men dem is playing their video games and watching their sports and stuff, I absorb what I can from the side. But other than that, you know, I mean, I clap and cheer, but I don't know what, what are they talking about? He cracked the snap and he got the B gap. And she was like, oh, I didn't think you could go that fast. Yeah, you know, he she put some pep in his damn step by criticizing him. Even though his esteem is low, them criticisms be working for these low esteem men. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's his wife, man. Salute to Sebastian Kim, man. Very Oxmas, man. Been an Oc Nation soldier since 2020. I'm re enlisting for another tour in 2024. Thank you for your service, man. Thanks for the three to four hours of entertainment and realism every night. Everyone in the nation needs to hit the like. Shout out facts. Shout out to you, 
Sebastian Kim, man, Oct Nation Hall of Famer, man. Peace to you, man. Salute to um Miss S66, Oct Nation Hall of Famer, coming through. Merry X, Merry Christmas, Oct. Yeah, man. I just wanted to see y'all to see the hate. <laughs> The hatred that they have for him, man. They're literally. I watched a video where a gay girl, she was like, I'm a lesbian. And then she was saying that he's he has feminine energy. It was a, literally a lesbian complaining that this guy had feminine energy. I always say we and the men are cats, man. I always say we the cats, man. Yeah, so a man who in an interview says that. He didn't know who she was. He didn't want her. And then she chased him down. And basically, he gave her a shut up ring. I'm going to let you guys look at the interview that he did with some other guy. I they calling it. They calling the ring he gave her a shut up ring. Not a wedding ring. He gave her a shut up ring. Was He didn't want her. And then she chased him down. And basically, he gave her a shut up ring. I'm going to let you guys look at the interview that he did with some other guy. I don't even know the man's name. I don't know what team he plays for. Everybody knows who Simone Biles is. But he claims he didn't know who she was. And he saw her on a date nap and she just chased him down. So she really booked you. She did, though. All right. <laughs> Y'all, go find this woman's channel. Watch the rest of this video. Or just go find the interview if you want to get What is it? Uh, I don't even know who those men are. Like she said, go watch that interview on your own if you want to. But <laughs> honestly, I have to laugh as hard as this guy is because are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? Um, <laughs> in the words of the great Mr. Keep It Simple, let me tell you guys something. No, no but seriously, though, like, what is this? What is this? You know, let me just say this. As a uh, as a lesbian, although now I'm becoming more pansexual, but as a lesbian, let me just tell you something. Like this man here, not him, him her husband, he's a sister. That's a gay man right there. He's not gay for real. But look at him. Pretty as all get out and talking about how he's the prize. I've never, I'm 30 years old, y'all. I'm 30 years old. And believe it or not, I've actually have experienced a lot of life. Thank you, Jesus. And, ooh, you know. Um, and I can honestly say that, you know, I'm also a little bit of an of a, of a old soul. But, man, even as a lesbian, I didn't think I would ever see a time when men wanted to be feminine so bad. Like, so bad. I mean, there's nothing feminine about this guy. And I mean nothing. There's zero feminine about this guy. He he didn't say anything feminine. Nothing. In no way did he act feminine or do anything feminine. They're just nitpicking him because they hate the fact that Simone Biles is happy. They want to ruin this for Simone. I'm telling you, man. That's the thing about it, man. Like, you got to be careful what you ask for. A few weeks ago when Taylor Swift was getting all the attention at the games, people was like, why they don't pay attention to Simone Biles? Her husband's in the NFL and she be at the games. Remember that? Press one if you remember that. Press one if you remember that controversy on Black Twitter a few weeks ago. How come it's racist? They 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 they, they be all up in the um every every play they panning the cameras over to Taylor Swift, but with some old bows at the game they don't do that because they hate black people. So, but look at what happens when you let black people. Look what happens when 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 she let the black people into her relationship. Look what happened when she let them in her relationship. 
Now her husband's gay. He don't really want her. He not attracted to her. He's abusing her with his words. He lazy because he got cut from one team. He don't work hard enough. And it's okay. Um, I guess. No, it's okay. A man can be feminine because I guess women are getting more masculine. So the divine feminine masculine still exists. But I think what I'm trying to say is, as a, even as a lesbian woman, I understand that women with our womb come with a lot more of a feminine emotional response. And so what does this mean for gender norms? Um, what does this mean when we have biological men with that level of testosterone now adapting feminine thought patterns. And <laughs> you know how they say like- Look at how they talking about this guy, man. Listen, man, let me just, I just wanted to show you a little bit. Um, let me drop the link, man. Um, it's sad, man. It's sad, man. This shit is sad, man. This shit is sad, man. The way they, the way they doing, and it's all to destroy her. They want her to leave him. They really want her. To, they would listen. These women would be so happy if they woke up tomorrow and 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 <laughs> if they woke up tomorrow. <laughs> and Simone Biles is like, I'm leaving this nigga. Newsflash. Simone Biles is leaving her husband because she didn't like the way he talked in that interview. They would be so happy. These women would be so happy. They would love it. Shout out to Verdant Glider, man. You talk about it would be, yo, these sisters would be ecstatic if, 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 if she left him. Ecstatic. They will be like, yeah, you did the right thing, girl. And the next day, they all be fucking liking his pictures on Instagram and sneaking in his DMs, or chasing him. They would all chase him. The second, the second he was single, all these women would chase him. Cause now he got um social social credit, man, for, for being with Simone Biles. So now they would all look at look at him like a even more of a catch. He'd be the he'd be the hottest nigga on the market. If Simone Biles left him tomorrow, he would be the hottest nigga on the market. Press one. All of them would be fucking chasing him. Shout out to Alonzo. What's your thoughts, man? Hey, Merry Christmas, Oc. Man, all these women are just some haters, man. That's all it is. None of them, they, they even talked about what they do for their man because you know they ain't got none. Yeah, they don't have a man. They would have said that. Yeah, yeah, they don't have a man. It's just disgusting me because they're all reading from a script. That When you listen to that guy, didn't he seem like a nice young man? Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, respectful. He, he's not really speaking in slang. He talks proper, so he seems educated. He was... He was student athlete of the year yeah, in, his, he, in, in his conference he could be like that that basketball player you know killing females with his prostitute girlfriend right Camacho. exactly shout out to steal from juice man yeah man come on to you um chance come on to you this is it, it's just disgusting hearing them talk about this guy like that and I never really been a manosphere type guy, but if this is if this is what they doing, I understand it. <laughs> like yo, they the, the hatred is so deep. And then if you peep what that woman said, she said she's a lesbian, but she's trans transferring over to a pansexual so that means she's tired of only women and now she really wants a man 
Yeah, but she's a lesbian with masculine energy talking about he has feminine energy. <laughs> Let me think about that. You got masculine energy, but you talking about he got feminine energy. But the moment he slotted her DM, she would be feminine and everything would be all okay. Dude, I listen, man. I just... I literally, literally hate, hate this shit, man. I literally hate this shit, man. This shit is, this shit is so disgusting, man. I mean, it's so disgusting the way they act. 